New tonight, Gators are on the go. Gary Sarge and his staff at Gator Country are opening up a new <laughs> facility in South Padre Island. This will be exciting. 51 Gators rounded up today for the move. Tomorrow they will be transported south. And 12 News reporter Tyler Segerman was there for the whole operation. Tyler? Yeah, catching an alligator is a lot easier said than done. I saw firsthand how frustrating it can be. But Gator Country is more than happy to remove a few. that Gator Country did what they could to catch 51 alligators. Do this quick as you can, fast. Go, there you go. Owner Gary Sarge has partnered with the South Padre Island Birding Nature and Alligator Sanctuary to create a new facility in deep South Texas. I just had the idea to go ahead and put fences in it. They have alligators there already anyway in the wild population. And so we, we thought it's time to educate people on them. They're starting to see them at their boat docks and things like that. These alligators will function the same way they do here at Gator Country. A lot like we do here at Gator Country, people will be able to hold the little baby alligators. They'll be able to, to, to hold uh, one of our, our snakes or something like that and take pictures. Roughly 40,000 people visit this exhibit in Finette, but Sarge is excited to know his gators will be seen by five times that amount. We're forecasting our first year to see 200,000 people down there now. We're really excited about that. Catching these gators was not an easy process. A prime example was grabbing 700 pound Big Padre. It took nine people to get him into his trailer. 50 more to go. <laughs> we have over 600 alligators here now, so this is actually a really good thing for us as well. We're able to kind of keep our population up, you know, for not being too big and too many alligators in one pond. Big Padre and 50 alligators between the length of three and five feet were caught on Wednesday. They'll head over to South Padre Island Thursday morning, along with two full-time staff members. They're going to actually uh, manage the park for us. Um, they have their nuisance alligator hunting license, so if there is a nuisance alligator that needs uh, to be caught there, they'll be able to catch it and put it at that facility. Good. Again, Gator Country is not closing its organization, simply expanding it. Now, for those Gator Country supporters, don't worry, Big Al and Big Tex are not leaving. Tyler Segerman, 12 News.